Yes, hi. In the previous video, we discussed the chamfer. I have shown how you can actually do chamfer manually uh, in many cases. When I've shown the example using a single edge or using multiple edges and tab, and that you could do it manually, but then I've shown if you select, for example, these, these, and these three edges, then it's problematic and you need to add the corners and so on. Um, now I'm going to discuss uh, fillet, and fillet's a little bit more advanced and that's uh, much more difficult to do it manually if you can with a lot of extrusions and uh, you know some other tools scaling extrusion so on but it's it's really becomes really difficult especially with corners so let's take a look at a similar example where i have a single edge over here and i'm going to do the fillet now in this case let's preview it so first of all i have only two edges at this point so it, it rounds up only two that's the minimum but you can obviously increase it more but as you can already see that if you're rounding one edge, you're kind of breaking the speed. So if I'm going to remove my um, uh, corner, you see we already created a hole. It's difficult to see this edge from this corner. You can see it. So you can see we created a hole over here. So you need to have the corner. So this is unlike fillet. Uh, this is something that's uh, whenever you have one edge, you need to have a tool like this to automatically uh, fill it, uh, this one, I mean, um, to fill this in. So it's not like chamfer, I'm sorry. So you need to have this even on a single edge. Uh, you can do it if you're doing it, let's say, on a, an entire surface, the way I've shown it before on, on uh, chamfer. On fillet, actually, you can do that uh, manually. So let's add a lot of things. In this case, you don't really need any corners. Uh, to fill and you can see you can remove the corners. There's no issue And this technically you can do you can use inset tool with extrusion to do this and um, Inset extrusion scale, I guess you can do that um, Or manually extrusion so it's technically something you can do but still there's this much much easier to do it with a tool like this and uh, You know you can reduce and make something rounded and nice. Uh, you can also use the round uh, uh, tool from over here um, I guess that's um, um, oh, it's also a modifier. We have round object. Round object, if you want to round everything, all of the edges, you can use round object, but you need to have tessellation first, uh, more details. So, yeah, much more advanced. So, this is basically the best uh, example where you can use it. But if you want to do the same example I used before, where I select edges, something like this, or this, and these, this is what I did before, this would basically also. Um, make it quite nice and in this case let me make the intensity less just increase the level in this case you can clearly see that you need the corners the same we had before all of these corners so if you're going to remove the corners you will basically be left with with this hole but if you do it it's actually quite nice how they feel you can see it goes even a different direction this adds lines this way this this way and this way I mean, this is up and down, you know, each one, so this kind of combines a lot of lines and small edges. So it becomes quite complex, but you know, it does it. And as with the other tool that I've shown before, you can use it to create interesting shapes. So let's actually take the entire cube as an example. So I'll take the entire cube, deselect the edge, and I go now again to the fillet. Um, I can use a level, let's say, whatever, let's, let's take it max, a nice level like this and I'm going to reduce the fill polygon. So you can create something like this. As you can see, I want to have the corners. I want to have my edges. I, you know, otherwise, you'll have just this. I want to have my corners and edges. And now if I'm going to add uh, thickness to it, let me select. I'm going to add thickness over here. So let's say if I make it to 5, something nice. And now you have a nice frame that is actually 3D printed. And that's uh, quite nice. Let me deselect the region. So you can see now this has thickness over here. You can see this is nice printable since you created this tool. So overall, the chamfer and filler tools are tools that are quite advanced. Uh, for the basic use cases, um, you may some parts be able to do it yourself, but in many cases, especially when you need the corners, uh, you cannot do it. But it can also be used with these nice fill options to use it for any custom shapes and so on. Okay, thanks for watching.